welcome back to the How to Podcast series. This is Dave, it's the Daily Dave, and I had another voice message from SpeakPipe. It's on my website, howtopodcast.ca. And I promised, and here I am to deliver, if you leave me a message on SpeakPipe, I will make you a little mini episode like this so that everybody gets to hear your amazing voice. We have a lot of Dave here on the How to Podcast series. So any chance I can feature another amazing podcaster out there in the space who is so nice. Debbie McCullough and I met, ready for this? We're both Canadian podcasters. And we met on on a UK meetup meeting. Two Canadians in the room, classing up the joint, you know, and so excited to get this message just after that from Debbie. And I want to spotlight her podcast. We're going to have her come on my show in the future and guest co-host with us. So you get to meet her in advance. You ready? So like I said, leave me a message on SpeakPipe on my website, howtopodcast.ca. And we'll be playing your podcast right here. You get your own episode on the How to Podcast series. And you didn't have to pay for it. Didn't cost you five bucks. And uh, hey... I want to do this to support you. I want other people to fall in love with your podcast. And let's fall in love with Debbie's podcast. Here's Debbie's message first. And then we're going to jump into a little clip from her most recent episode. You ready? Okay, here we go. Hello, Dave. It's Debbie McCullough calling. We met on the West Midlands Podcast Club. Um, I have my podcast, Older and Boulder, and I have checked out your podcast, How to, uh, I forget, how to, the How to Podcast series. I've checked out a few of your uh, your episodes, and, and I've really enjoyed them. So I just wanted to reach out to you, and I hope we connect again soon. We were the two lone Canadians in that podcast club um, Zoom connection, and uh, I, I really enjoyed getting to know you and the others. So, thank you for all of your great input and uh, your expertise in podcasting. Hope to hear from you soon, Dave. Bye bye. Now, that's what a nice message sounds like right there. Thank you, Debbie. That was so kind of you to leave a message over at howtopodcast.ca, the little microphone. Click it, leave a message just like Debbie did. Uh, It's always great to meet new podcasters. So my challenge to you as a fellow podcaster, and I'm going to be doing an episode about this. I'm just recording it today, actually. So you're getting a behind the scenes into the brains of Dave. Wow. Uh, (laughs) I would like to encourage you to spend more time talking to people who don't know you than the people who do. On Instagram, Facebook, social media, You're talking to the people who are already a big fan of you. They already know you have a podcast. You don't have to tell them that you have a new episode because for the most part, most people have subscribed and followed your show. So you don't need to tell them that episode 20 is out because they already have it on their phone. They already know. They already know that your your podcast came up. So you can avoid all that. And what I would say, if you spend the majority of your time on Instagram talking to your fans, and not talking to people who have zero idea who you are. It's time to start talking to them. When we talk conferences, we talk uh, events, we talk all these things you can go to as a podcaster. What's better, sitting in a room full of other podcasters, especially if they all podcast about the same topic as you do, or going to an event around the topic of your podcast. So if you have a podcast around mental health, what's better? A conference about mental health and being one of the only podcasters in the room or a podcast podcasters conference about podcasting where everyone's a podcaster and all your competition is there. (laughs) What is a better use of your time? And here we are, Debbie and I, in a podcasting group with the for me, speaking for myself, I knew absolutely no one in the room, no one on that Zoom call. It was my first time to meet all these great people and expand my circle. I could have easily created a Zoom room and talked to my friends, which is great. I love my friends. 
But the moment I can step into a new room and no one knows who I am, and the, the, the most fun for me is when they say, Dave, do you have a podcast? And I do a little smirk, and I tell them to hold on to their seats. Yes, I have seven different podcasts. And they're like, oh, seven episodes? No, 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 seven podcasts. And you can see them, look, they're looking down on the screen while I'm talking, and as soon as they hear seven, all eyes lift towards their cameras and a little tilt to the head to the left. Did he say seven? Yeah. So Debbie and I are in this room. I get to meet her. She's amazing. And uh, so I want to give you a little clip from her podcast so you can hear a little bit of her show. And I'll have the pod link. Remember pod link? I talked about them. Pod dot link. Search up your podcast. Find it. Get clickable links to your pod, pod uh, podcast. Forget pod page and paying money come on free is better let's do this free right uh so pod link i went and got our pod link it's in the show notes go over there and follow like share subscribe how to podcast family we're not just pod pals here we're family let's do our best and go give debbie some podcast love by following subscribing and doing all the things you could do that i know you can but I appreciate you doing it. Here's a little clip from Debbie's podcast. And uh, I'd like you to check it out. Here you go. Here's Debbie's podcast. Welcome to Older and Boulder, where we showcase individuals who are fearless, fabulous, and 50 plus. Here's your host, Debbie McCullough. Hello, listeners, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 6 of Older and Bolder. I'm your host, Debbie McCullough. My guest today is Cindy Kildaw. Cindy has been a graduate many times. She graduated high school and then went on to the University of Regina and obtained her degree in business administration. But Cindy didn't stop there. She continued her studies in business earning her master's degree from the University of Saskatchewan. While these degrees are impressive, Cindy is perhaps proudest of her most recent graduation. In November of 2020, Cindy graduated from an intensive outpatient addiction treatment center called Possibilities Recovery Center. With three years of sobriety behind her, Cindy enthusiastically claims that she is now living her best life. Cindy was someone who seemed to have it all, a senior management position for a large corporation, a husband, two lovely daughters, and a beautiful home. Then her health took a drastic turn. After a long and difficult journey through the medical system, Cindy was diagnosed with a rare debilitating neurological disorder. Since then, Cindy has gone from the lows of her alcohol addiction to new heights as she now experiences the wonders of life through a lens of pride, happiness, and sobriety. I'm thrilled to welcome to the show Cindy Kildaw, a woman who now unabashedly practices and promotes self-care, sobriety, and selfless service to others. Hello, Cindy, and welcome. Hi, Debbie. How are you? I am good. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing just great. Thank you. Yes, and it's a beautiful fall day in Saskatchewan. And I just want to start off by saying, Cindy, congratulations on being more than three years sober. So what does that feel like? Uh, it feels amazing. It, uh, like you mentioned in, in the introduction, I feel like I am uh, very blessed and living my best life. And um, uh, certainly three years ago, I never imagined that life would be this good. <laughs> I was in a pretty dark place, pretty rough patch. So um, yeah, I, I have to keep reminding myself that um, um, there are people who struggle to get this far. And mm -hmm. um, as someone who doesn't like to brag and tries to be humble about their accomplishments, I can definitely say it. this is probably my proudest one. 
And you deserve to be so proud. So there's a little bit from Debbie's podcast. And uh, I just wanted to share with you, let you know that there's another great podcast that you can come and listen to. And again, thank you, Debbie, for connecting with me on that UK meetup group. My inspiration for all of you, my encouragement is to be a part of a community where no one knows you. It's a great way to meet new people, grow your community, grow your connections, meet great people like Debbie. Who would have thought? Two Canadians meeting in a UK meetup about podcasting, right? You just never know. So put yourself out there. Go go beyond where you feel most comfortable. Instead of being the person that everybody knows, go into a room where nobody knows you. It feels weird, but it's great because you walk away with new friends, new connections, new people that you can do life with, you can podcast with, new people who walk away going, that person was pretty cool, just like Debbie. So if you're looking for some free promotion for your podcast, you're like, Dave, I wish people knew about my show. Go over to howtopodcast.ca, leave me a message on my speak pipe, and I'll do this for you. I will. Let's promote your podcast. Let everybody know in the How to Podcast family. Again, we're not pals. We're family here on the How to Podcast series. Let them know about your show and we'll all come over and support you. That's what we do around here. Howtopodcast.ca. Go check it out. And again, go check out Older and Boulder with our good friend Debbie. Thanks for being part of the podcast. We'll catch you soon on the next our podcast series. Go leave me a message. Cheers. Bye.